Global share markets generally rose in January with US stocks hitting all-time highs driven in part by growing expectations for a soft landing for the world's biggest economy in which growth remains stable while inflation cools. Shares had stumbled at the beginning of the month after investor optimism waned about how quickly central banks might pivot to cutting interest rates. Later in January, the benchmark US S&P 500 index returned to a record high for the first time in two years, extending a rally driven by optimism about the US economy and lower interest rates, as well as bets on artificial intelligence. The gains were capped at month end after US Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell dashed hopes for an interest rate cut as soon as March. Mega cap US growth, technology and chipmaker stocks powered broader markets higher with both the S&P 500 Information Technology and Philadelphia Semiconductor Indexes each hitting record highs, up as much as 3.9% in January. Microsoft rose 5.7% on the AI mania despite disappointing cloud computing growth and Facebook parent Meta Platforms jumped 10.2% after broker Jefferies raised its target price on the stock from $425 US dollars to $455 US dollars. At the end of the month, the S&P 500 index climbed by 1.6% with chip companies advanced micro devices and Nvidia soaring between 13.8% and 24.2% to all-time highs as Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing's outlook spurred hopes for a global tech recovery in 2024. Juniper Networks surged 25.4% after a news report that Hewlett Packard Enterprise was in talks to buy the networking product maker in a 13 billion US dollar deal. The Dow Jones Industrial Average Index also advanced to record closing highs in January, up by 1.2% with IBM jumping 12.3% after forecasting full year revenue growth above estimates. Holding back the Dow, Boeing slumped 19% as the US Federal Aviation Administration grounded its 737 MAX 9 airplanes indefinitely after a panel blew off an Alaska air jet in midair. The tech laden Nasdaq index added 1% in January, testing new highs with streaming giant Netflix rallying 15.9% after it smashed expectations for subscriber growth. But electric vehicle maker Tesla skidded 24.6% to an eight month low after warning of a sharp slowdown in sales growth this year. European shares rose to the highest level in two years in January, then continent wide FTSE Euro First 300 index lifted 1.7% following European Central Bank President Christine Lagarde's affirmation that rate cuts may begin from mid-2024. Technology stocks climbed 7.6%, leading gains among sectoral indexes. ASML holdings jumped 17.1% after brokerage Bernstein upgraded the Dutch semiconductor equipment makers rating to outperform. In London, the UK FTSE 100 index ended down 1.3%, logging its worst month since October last year, weighed down by a 29.5% plunge in apparel retailer JD Sports. British retail sales slid 3.2% in December, suffering the biggest drop in almost three years. Asian bourses were mixed in January. Japan's Nikkei 225 index breached 35,000 points for the first time since February 1990, surging a whopping 8.4% in January, its best start to a year since 1998. But mainland Chinese stocks fell to five-year lows as investor sentiment remained subdued. The blue chip CSI 300 index dipped 6.3%, down for a sixth straight month. And Hong Kong's Hang Seng index dropped 9.2%, its worst January performance since 2016. The Aussie S&P ASX 200 index rose by 1.2% in January, above all-time highs set back on August 13th, 2021, after inflation cooled at a faster-than-expected clip in the December quarter 2023. Eight of 11 sectors finished higher in January. Energy stocks gained 5.2% as uranium prices hit a 16-year high on renewed investor interest in nuclear power and supply concerns. Boss Energy surged 38.2% following strong drilling results at its honeymoon uranium project in South Australia. Pier Paladin Energy jumped 31.5% and financials rose 5% in January to the highest level since May 2017. Net wealth hit a two-year high, ending up 9.4% as the financial services firm's funds under management surged in late 2023. The big four banks lifted around 5%. But miners fell by 4.8% to the lowest since mid-November last year, pressured by a weak iron ore and lithium prices. Shares of lithium producers Sayana Mining, Liontown Resources, Arcadium Lithium and Core Lithium plunged between 22% and 43.7% in January. 
Sayonar was the worst performer after it announced plans to conduct a review of its North American operations in response to a persistent drop in lithium prices. Thanks for listening. For further developments on markets, please make sure you subscribe to the Comsec YouTube channel and tune into the Comsec Market Update podcast. And you can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram.